Back in the 1900s, on Sundays, the Beard Congressional Church was a communal place for the community of Iraq. But Monday through Friday, this church served as a school for African American children, a time when educational rights for people of color were unheard of. I'm Penelope Lopez, a Yorba Million Parish reporter, learning about how descendants of Robert and Francis Dozier, formerly enslaved people, are remembering their ancestors' legacy years later. As a young child, I, I grew up just down the street. I can remember the soul stirring gospel music and preaching that came out of this little church. Erath native and educator Dana Como. So here, here is some original pews. That is reflecting back on 112 years of history. Before even Martin Luther King had a dream, they had a dream, and their dream was to educate their 10 children. Her educational roots span back generations, starting at Beard Congressional Church in Erath. Founded by Robert and Francis Dozier, formerly enslaved people who migrated over from Kentucky. Cuomo is their great-great-granddaughter. I think about, you know, wow, they actually put their lives on the line because, you know, just coming out of slavery, very rural, we're in the Jim Crow era, people were, were going to threaten their lives just for them even thinking about educating their children, but for them it was worth it. Understanding the importance of education, the Dozers hired a local teacher to educate their 10 children at home during a time when people of color in the South were battling legal exclusions from public schools. As years went by, it was their grandchildren and, and then, but other people were interested in getting their children um, educated as well. And so then they moved over here into the church. Today, their legacy lives on. So we're in front of a Dozier Elementary School, which is just a couple steps away. I see the street sign. Talk to me about the significance behind it. Yes, the street sign is um, RF Dozier, which stands for Robert and Francis Dozier. Named this street after them because of all of the, the significant things and the great impact that it had on education and so close to the original uh, Dozier Elementary School there. Dozier Elementary, a prominent school in the community, was a direct result of their push for education equality. And Cuomo, along with the other descendants, are making sure their history is never forgotten. They're working on restoring the church to its glory, slowly converting their wooden church into a museum. And Founders Day is this upcoming Saturday in Erath at the City Park starting at 11 a.m. More details can be found on KTC.com.